Ding 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 Dink, 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 dink. Dink. Welcome everyone back to the Jen and Julian podcast. I, I don't know what that just was. That, like, come on. Dink, 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 dink. That's literal dinks. We're dinking our glasses. I don't know, but that, that first one, that, that beat was way off. That wasn't even close. I disagree. I think the beat was lit. Anyways, welcome back to the Jen and Julian podcast. We got beers on this show, guys. There's no guests to high-five over, so let's just high-five each other. Thank you for joining us for another week of us hanging out and talking to you guys about the Jen and Julian things, amongst the other things. This week's episode is brought to you by Headspace. Start training your mind for a healthier, stress-free lifestyle right now, guys, by going to headspace.com slash Jen and Julian, downloading the free app, and using guided meditation, doing the Take 10 program for free. Guys, that's headspace.com slash Jen and Julian. Check it out. Your mind will thank you. Uh, so, we're back here sitting at this table right now, guys. And we've had just a couple like, of beers. We've not had, lie. <laughs> we've it's had a fucking. <laughs> it's because my family's in town and we hung out with them today earlier. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. But fun. well, we had a couple beers earlier. It was and a couple then, hours ago. <laughs> there was like three sections of tonight where we had beers. True. There was like four hours ago, and then we sobered up. And then like two hours ago, and then we sobered up, and then now. Yeah. So well, when you first started drinking beers, I was not drinking beers. No. So she had two. I had I three. Had two. I was drinking beers with your brother and your dad. But even then, I had two beers earlier. You know what? I feel like um, I feel like beers hit me differently now that I eat, eat the things that I'm eating. Mm-hmm. I don't. You know, I, I feel like before when I was kind of eating a lot of meat and all this shit, I would need to like down. At least three beers to feel anything. It's only science. I mean, now I'm drinking a beer and I'm like, all right, that tasted good and I feel good. Beer me. Beer me. <laughs> beer me that podcast. Uh, yeah, so, uh, wow. Uh, so we are we have beers on the show <laughs> and uh, we thought we would play a game for you guys today. And it feels good, though. It feels good to be back with some drinks on, the, on the podcast, well, honestly. We kind of started the show on that basis. Yeah. You know, we're going to yeah. drink and talk. I know, but it's hard to maintain. It's that. hard because it's every week, and and it's like we like to treat this very seriously because we value it. We value you guys. We value the discussions we have. So oftentimes we're like, and eh, maybe we just don't have a drink because we really want to execute a cool podcast. Yeah. But then sometimes it's like, all right, well, I think we can. Yeah, totally. And also, if you were to drink all the time, it just wreaks havoc on your health and your like, life. Yeah, I was going through that phase where everyone was like, "Make make a drunk video, make a drunk video," and yeah. I'm like, I don't think you guys realize. A, how drunk I actually get, and B, like just how taxing that is on your soul as <laughs> a, a human lot, being, a let lot. alone your physical body. It's a lot. But yeah, uh, we, but are, we are nowhere at that. We are, it just feels good to have a beer and hang it out. It does. It feels good to have a beer, hang out, and, um, you know, just kind of talk to you guys. Julian uh, to, had a beer with my dad today. I did. I had a beer with your dad. It was pretty awesome. Uh, that was the first beer we've shared. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's amongst it was the first a, beers that I've shared with my dad. I, well, don't, I don't get to hang out and beer with him often. Join the club. So he's Man, a cool guy. Am I right? He's a cool guy. So yeah, is my brother. He's a cool guy. They are they are They're awesome cool. people. Uh, and I, I also found out that he watches our stuff. Everything. I mean that blew, I knew that, that kind of blew my mind. Uh, Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. Mori. Uh, uh, it was just, it was cool. It was like flattering. It was also kind of a shock, but in the best way possible. Uh, it's funny. You like, you, you treat, you know, we treat what we do online as our job, right? Mm-hmm. We treat it, you know, professionally and we take our time and, and put it towards, I guess you could say our job, career, whatever. And you don't really think of it as the fact that it is online for even if you're not thinking of it as that, right. people can watch it. Well, and yeah. anyone can. What I think you mean to say is that you don't always remember exactly who is watching yes. what you make on the internet. That is correct. I feel, I feel like it's a, it's a phenomenon amongst anyone that uploads something to the internet. Yes. You just assume that you don't know who is actually watching it until you have that point where someone and says something and you're like wait a minute right anyone is watching this <laughs> wait my uncle and aunt watch yeah, yeah it's like very people bizarre. in my family who i don't even talk to could be watching my right. stuff i would have no idea but you always sort of assume that they're totally not watching mm-hmm. it. but yeah. what a what an outrageous assumption of course they're watching it, it's outrageous but it's also like 
if you're an accountant, you don't really think that your uncle who you never talked to is going to be monitoring your accountant working and be like, hey, I saw that file, that account you just completely nailed last month. Congrats. And you're like, no way did you know about that. Like you're kind of primed Mm -hmm. when you treat things like, you know, every day when you go through them is your job that you don't, whatever. I don't know. It's just, it's very, it's very different and new and cool. I think it's also because we're in the bubble of maybe everyone that you know in your life doesn't necessarily post everything on the internet. So you're not really used to stalking all of your friends and family. But if I did have a friend or a family member, well, I mean, now I have lots of friends that post stuff on the internet. But like if you had a family member that wasn't you (laughs) that was posting things on the internet, I feel like I'd be like, Fuck yeah, I watch your shit. Yeah, man. yeah. Just want to see what you're doing, honestly. Yeah, just trying to stalk you. Mm-hmm, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I would be so interested in that. Like, if my brother, like, like, talked me in his life in some sort more than he does, right? I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm watching that shit, dude. Right? Subscribe to the hacker. Just want to see what you're doing to yeah. the hacker. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, my dad's like deep down the rabbit hole though. Like he'll text me and be like, "All right, we got our Sirius XM radio. We're all set up to listen to the YouTube 15 today." And I'm like, "Dad, you can't YouTube even 15. see me during that. That is hardcore." <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's all the way in it. Mm-hmm. He's a cool, he's a cool guy. Mm, it's a cool guy. Um, anyway, so we we have our beers out, and we uh, we wanted to play a game for you guys that we've kind of tucked away for a couple weeks now, and we feel like tonight would be a good day to bust it out. And it is two truths and one lie, right? Yeah, it's been requested a lot as a video and a podcast. I'm sure you guys have done this like as a party game with friends uh, where you basically tell three things. Two of them are true and one of them's a lie. And your friends have to guess which is which. And uh, I think it's funny because we can, you know, we, we prepped, you know, before this to have them ready. But I think we can kind of just pick the most random crazy things that don't even really like... I, I'm not a bad boyfriend for not knowing that. It's just right, kind of yeah, random yeah. trivia. <laughs> well, I feel like I made them intentionally obscure yeah, so that so you wouldn't know that. So I. I yeah. left a couple in there that I think you might know just to mess with your brain a little mm-hmm. bit, but most of them I feel like you won't get. That's fun. It is fun. I feel like mine turned into se- I'm fun. semi just like bizarre trivia. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, mm-hmm, should we mm-hmm, should we get right mm-hmm, into it then? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, only if we date. Well, let's date jump right into it. I want, I want it. one more date. I'm watching date. a lot of Phil DeFranco. That's dink, what he dink. says. Let's just jump right into it. Dink, right? Dink, dink, dink. Yeah, I'm so excited that you watch Phil because for anyone uh, maybe that is super far down my rabbit hole, probably my dad knows, but <laughs> I really like Phil a lot and I've been watching his show for years like every day. Like that's yeah. a face that I see like every day. Yeah. So when Julian randomly the other day was like, yeah, I've been watching a lot of Phil and I'm like, whoa, whoa, welcome to the club. Yeah. Well, I knew you, I knew you were friends with him and I knew you watched him for a long time. It's just. We're not ha- like friends, friends. I know. No, you're him. friendly though. I know you, him. Yeah, 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 you're acquaintance. Anyway, uh, it just happened recently. We're like, just, just the right amount enough of his videos were suggested to me that I started to just click on him and I was like, Hey. I kind of like the way this guy talks. Yeah, Let's listen awesome. to a couple more. So I, I went, I literally spent like an hour watching all of them. Yeah. And, uh, he continues to be fair and stuff. rational and entertaining. Yeah. Which is, I think the, he, his, his hu- humility, like is a big selling point of why people watch yeah. it. You know, he's not, I'm right all the time. I know what I'm, you know, he's very right. real. You know? And it's very clear that it's like, Hey, these are the things that I cared about today. Yeah. I'm not going to just necessarily going to cover whatever the fuck. Like, this is just what I fucking care about today. Respect. Lit fam, lit, lit, OG YouTuber, lit, lit fam. Okay, so do you want to go first or should I go first? I think you should go first. Okay. Just answer my own question. Let's jump right into it. No, let's just jump <laughs> right into it. Okay. This begins two truths and a lie. As this ASMR two truths and a lie. Just kidding. We're not doing that. Nope. Nope. Come nope. On. You, nope, loved, nope, nope, nope. you loved it. You loved the nope, ASMR nope, nope, podcast. Nope. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yep. I am missing six adult teeth. My high school mascot was the Barons. I have one natural streak of blonde hair in the back center of my head. Okay, the second one's true. I know that. And the third one's oddly specific. You're missing six teeth? That's like so many. I think think number one is a lie. True. I'm missing six adult teeth. You're really missing six I'm adult. I'm really missing six adult teeth. How? Okay. The, how? How, the... how? 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 <laughs> Wait. Did they pull all of them? 
Um, they pulled three of them. So the streak of blonde was a lie? That's a total You lie. sneak! Because I've had a couple friends in the past that have one of those naturally. See, that was like oddly so specific. Cool. I feel like you manufactured that, but I should have gone for it. I was hoping it would throw you off because my friend Rachel Park that I did the Girls' mm-hmm. Day video with has one of those natural blonde streaks, and I'm pretty sure she said something like That's who I was thinking of exactly. when I thought of blonde streaks. Yes, <clears throat> subliminally tricked you. Damn it. No, so I'm tell missing, me the teeth. Yeah, what? Okay, um, the incisors, I think they're called, the ones next to your front teeth. I was only born with one adult tooth. So you just disadvantage from the start. True. Okay. My mom and my brother and myself only have one of those adult tooth. So the teeth. So they pulled the adult one and then moved all the other ones forward and shaved them to look like the ones that wow. I don't have. Yes. Um, I'm missing my two bottom 12 year molars mm-hmm. and my two bottom wisdom teeth. Those never, they just didn't, they don't exist. Wow. Okay. So. Although I was, I'm only missing five adult teeth since they pulled the adult one that I did have. Technically six. I'm missing six adult teeth. Interesting, guys. The more you know. I feel like that's going to be the theme of today's episode. I feel I know. feel like my mouth is on like some next level human shit because everyone has to get their wisdom teeth pulled anyways. And I was just born with enough, enough room already for them. Hmm. So fuck with me. Or you just are an adult with six teeth missing. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. Um, I used to kick trees to try and toughen my shin bones. I once held a handstand for four minutes straight. I once did 100 push-ups in a row. The second one is a lie. I know that kicking trees is a, what, not jujitsu, a Muay Thai, whatever the fuck. To strengthen your shin bones. There is no way you held a handstand for any amount of time because you almost broke my nose in a headstand, which is easier than a handstand. I I don't even remember what third one is, but the second one is false as fuck. All right. You got me on that one. Hell yeah. I just want to warn you. I'm starting (laughs) easy. Okay. That that one was purposely easy. I did do 100 push-ups in a row, guys. Be impressed by that. Yeah. I'm so proud of um, that accomplishment. I, I did it in high school. That's also not hard to believe. Like, look at your pecs. And your I was a lot smart. smaller, though. I weighed, like, a lot less. Um, but I remember I was, like, I practiced. I, I don't know. I had this obsession with wanting to get 100 push-ups. And I practiced push-ups all the time, which is the most boring fucking thing ever. But if you Pretty do it cool. if you do it often enough every day and you're so relentless and you, your body just starts to build up that, like, muscle memory and whatever. And so one day at baseball practice... I like threw it out there. I was like, yeah, I bet I could beat you in a push-up contest. And I beat everyone. And they saw me do 100. And I was like, Psh, yes. Nice. I did that with pull-ups, like straight arm pull-ups and mm. gymnastics. I did try out for the team. And I weighed like, you know, 45 no. fucking pounds or some <laughs> shit. And they, in order to make like the competitive team, you had to do like at least X amount of number. Yeah. I don't remember. But I just remember them just for the longest time standing there staring at me and being like, all right, stop. <laughs> That's baller. You know, it was like you have to do like 50 straight arm pull-ups to be a baller. little a little baller gymnast. And they were like, get off the bar. That's enough. <laughs> now you're just showing off. Okay. I yeah. could never do it now, though. No. Because I weigh a normal human amount. Yeah, same with and me. I'm not I, a child. I, couldn't, I don't think even on my best day I could get above 50. It's like when you see a kid that's like just crushing monkey bars and you're like, yeah, well, you weigh 40 pounds. So yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. Be fuck. more of an adult, you yeah, little punk fuck, ass yeah, kid. Fuck, yeah, what the fuck? Oh, six, six, talk shit, get hit, yeah, kid. Yeah, scrape more fuck what? I'm gonna fuck what? <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay. Kermit's potential names were Samson, Elliot, Gary. Gary is true. Elliot is a lie. That is false. Elliot was Fuck. Very true. Samson? Samson. Samson Who me. makes up Samson? S- me, I do. Oh. Yeah, yeah well that, <laughs> that makes sense. Because he did. Elliot. Damn. Elliot was a strong contender. He's such an Elliot. No. Elliot. He's a Kermit. He would respond to Elliot if you called it. It's him. a cute name, right? Elliot's cute. Pretty cute. But he's not an Elliot. Once I got to know him, I was like, you are a Kermit. You're a Kermit. Gary is a close... I feel like Gary would have worked. Well, you know why it got ruined? The kid that I worked with, his name was Gaz, and he just, every day... He was a real Gaza. Yeah, he's a real Gaza. I would bring Kermit into work, and he would just go, Gary! That's where that whole, like, party voice started. Gary! And I was like, no, 
His name would be Gary, <laughs> not Gary. So you just had it with that name because of how Gaz said it. Yeah, I'm saving it for another. Classic another. Gaz. All right. The first time I ever got drunk, I drank vodka. I drank tequila. I threw up on a door like a waterfall. Mm. Okay, I feel like this is really tricky because I think that the first time that you drank, you drank multiple alcohols. And I think that you throwing up on a door might have been a different time, but I know you probably did throw. I'm going to go with number three. Number three is a lie. False. Oh, which one I is it? I did not drink vodka. Oh, brutal. I drank Jose Cuervo and I threw up on a door. Mm, fair enough. I thought that you drank multiple types of alcohol. No, what happened was, I've told you the story, but yeah. what happened was it started out as like harmless margaritas. I was like, I've never drank alcohol. They in my always life. do, don't they? You know what? Someone, you know, I'm, I was at my buddy's house and his mm-hmm. parents were out of town, but his brother was two years older than him. So he had all his like senior friends or junior friends at Worst. the time. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, we were drinking uh, and someone was like, you want a margarita? I was like, okay. So I had one and I was like, I kind of feel good. So I had another, 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 whatever. And then we ran out of margarita mix. So I was like, give me that Jose, please. Oh, <laughs> so I kept drinking Jose because I had no concept of what a tolerance was. And then at the end of the night, my buddy's in the bathroom like dealing with his alcohol and as he's in there he just hears like <laughs> <laughs> like a waterfall on the door and it was just me that's throwing, throwing nasty out. yeah good times first mm-hmm. time i ever consumed alcohol that's rough man yeah it was rough it was rough i feel like i consumed plenty of times i saw the incredible hulk earlier on that up. lap i remember that that's rough pretty weird that's rough mm-hmm. that's fun mm-hmm. that makes you feel a little old because Okay, you know. No, it wasn't the new Incredible Hulk. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. (laughs) What, the one that came out like two years ago? The fuck? I don't know your life. (laughs) You do. I know most of your life. You do. Okay. All right. I once pitched 11 softball games in five days. I originally was a lefty softball pitcher. I played second base in baseball. The second one, pitcher? <laughs> what do you think? I'm crazy? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I was never a lefty pitcher. Well, that's good because. Like, who do you know that lefty or like switch pitches? Nobody ever. That's not a thing. Well, not seriously. Not a thing. It's fun. It's fun mm. for giggles, but not for accomplishing anything. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> um, all right. In high school. Mm. I was in charge of changing the marquee letters on our school sign, and I pulled a prank because I had that responsibility. I didn't pass a single AP test, and I worked for the football team. You know, my gut is just to say that they're all fucking lies. I don't know any of that. They all do sound kind of like But lies, I'm going to so. say the first one is a lie. Which one? What is that? Marquee letters. Mm-mm. That was true. The second one is a lie. That you didn't pass any AP Yeah, tests. I passed one. <laughs> I took like three. I passed They're one. They're so overrated. They are. They're so overrated. They are. Uh, Plus, you're I, like in high school and doing other things, so it's not a big fucking deal. Yeah. No, for sure. You're um, like, sorry that I didn't bust my ass to study for this test that, you know, it's going to be all right. Yeah. Um, do you want to hear the story of the marquee? Sure. So I worked with student government, I think my junior year. And one of my duties that I chose was I get to take this long pole with a suction cup and change the letters on the marquee, you know, mm-hmm. every Monday or whatever. So I was a junior and the year we graduated was 1-0. It was 2010. So we, we always said like 1-0, 1-0. And our seniors that year were 9 So my, you know, message of the day was to say, uh, congrats, seniors. On the marquee, I'm supposed to write, as a junior, I'm meant to go up there, spend my time, and congratulate the people who are above us, who always treat us like dog shit. So what I did was I wrote, congrats, and I wrote seniors, but instead of I-O-R-S, I wrote one O-R-S. Troll. And I got in a lot of trouble for it. But I I also was really proud that I did it, Mm. because fuck them, you know? Mm. If I have the stick and the letters, Mm. might as well fuck them up. That's right. (laughs) I thought you were going to say that you wrote free Shavakadu. 
<laughs> Free Shavaka do. <laughs> Free you, Shavaka do. You guys do. better get down to, to Del Taco. They got something called Free Free Shavaka do. <laughs> Do you guys think Jenna just went crazy? A, she did, and it's a B, vine. It's, it's, a a vine. Vine. it's a vine. It's a vine. It's funny. It says fresh avocado, but there's like wrong spacing, and it says free shabakadu. Also, I would like to note that I was two years out of college in 2010. <laughs> but anyways. Sorry. Wait, did we just switch beers? What? Why did you do that? Who switched what? You switched our beers. Damn it. I thought you wouldn't notice. What I'll get you back. About? I'll get you back. I was hoping we would keep it a secret, me and you. Can you drink this one? Is this gluten-free? No, I can't. I was just going to drink a beer that I couldn't drink. <laughs> you can't. It's can. called gluteny. Yes, I can. Well, maybe that means it has extra gluten. <laughs> no no one know. would name their beer gluteny <laughs> because it had extra gluten. <laughs> what? Do you, that's a perfect name for a beer that has extra gluten. No one would buy it. Gluteny. Right? No, I disagree. It's like a play on words of gluttony, meaning you eat too much gluten. No, gluten. it's a play on words of mutiny. That's what it is. I beg to differ. I beg for you, you to know, keep going. We should look up the origin of New Belgian glu- This is not a sponsor. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyways. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I lost my spot from... That's what happens. That. Okay. <laughs> All of my grandparents have passed away. Three of my grandparents have passed away. I never met one of my grandparents. B is a lie. Three of my grandparents have passed away? Yeah. You right, ding, ding, ding. Well, I mean, if all of them and three of them. Yeah, I mean, see, that's yeah, that's where you messed you, up. You got it. You got it. It's yeah. kind of your problem there. No, they've all passed away, and I never met my mother's father. But I heard that he was cool at making jokes. I met my dad's dad, but I don't remember it. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people have one one or two grandparents that they just like, you know, you see them once or twice yeah. and then yeah. you don't really. Um, okay. Go ahead. Sorry for that downer real quick. No, it's okay. My first kiss involved braces. I've in total lost three retainers and I've never been choked unconscious. Okay. I feel like. The second one has to be a lie because you've never had a retainer. You've never had braces. So the first one could be true because the other person had braces. And I know that you've never been choked unconscious. So the second one has to be a lie. Okay, your reasoning is pretty legit. You're correct. I'm going to elaborate more later Uh, on in the game of why you might be a little bit wrong. But I have not been choked unconscious. I've been very close. Very close. You just got to go for it Let one it day. No, uh, you just know what? Go it just, to, just show up at jujitsu and be like, <laughs> t- you know what? Today's the day. <laughs> and you just like encourage and invite someone to choke you unconscious. Trust me. I don't need to invite them. They'll do it anyway. <laughs> that's. I feel like that's not good for you to get the oxygen cut off to your brain. No, in small doses. Just it's willingly. Nice and healthy. Yeah, but like just for the fuck of it. Just willingly. I don't think I don't think, I don't think your reasoning for getting choked unconscious affects your brain. I think just <laughs> getting choked unconscious has the same effect. All right. All right. right go ahead. Okay. I have never been in a helicopter, been bungee jumping, been parasailing. Okay, you've been parasailing. I, wanna, I think you've been bungee jumping, like a really shitty bungee jump, because I don't think you've been in a helicopter. Okay, you know, I realized that I just wrote this wrong, and it was one truth and two lies. Okay, well, I know you've been parasailing, <laughs> so I'm correct. You did. You got it. I might have done that on one right. of mine, too, you I got think. It right. I honestly think it, it I would have... got confusing after a little while yeah. when you're writing things. Uh, you're right, you're right. Um, right. No, I, I really do think I did that too on one of mine. I'm not you sure know which me one. So well, I have been parasailing. I've never been in a helicopter or yeah. I didn't think jump. you were in a helicopter, and I know you were in like a real bungee jump, but you might have been in like one of those ones at a fair where you're just like, psh, I'm dead. Everyone's dead. No, not even those. Yeah. I was just like, you know, I could do that, but I, I, I could I'm also gonna, not. I'm gonna go get a funnel cake or something. You know. All right, guys, we're trying something new this week. Uh, really quick, we're gonna take a short break so you can hear our sponsors, and we will be back in a second. 
This episode of the Jen and Julian podcast is brought to you by Home Chef. Guys, with Home Chef, you get all the fresh ingredients you need, plus instructions to cook restaurant grade meals in under 30 minutes, delivered right to your front door weekly, guys. This is chef designed, restaurant quality, like I said, meals that sound like this. They sound like rustic vegetarian tart with spinach, roasted red peppers, and goat cheese. If you ever watch Jenna's Snapchat, you see what we're cooking each night. It's stuff like that, except better. They come with recipe cards, step-by-step instructions. They make it easy to cook uh, right from your kitchen, and and they help you learn new and fun techniques that you always take with you. Uh, You can get nutrient-dense, perfectly proportioned meals for whatever your diet needs. If you have dietary restrictions, gluten-free, vegetarian, they can cater to that. Or if you're just on a diet, low-calorie, low-carb, they have options for you. No more waiting in line at the grocery store, planning out what to cook, or resorting to takeout. Guys, we all know what that's like. Each meal ends up being under 10 bucks, more affordable than the grocery store. Visit homechef.com slash JJ and use code JJ at checkout for 20 bucks off, guys. That's homechef.com slash JJ and code JJ. Rediscover home cooking with Home Chef. This episode is also brought to you by Headspace. Guys, let's be honest. Most of your problems start in your mind. Fear, anger, stress, anxiety, depression, everything that you hate that your mind does to you, it all starts in your head, but it can really kind of wreak havoc on your life. It doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't. You can make a major difference in just 10 minutes a day. This change comes through guided meditation with the new Headspace app. Headspace's meditation made simple. It's guided meditation that you listen to whenever you want, wherever you want, right from your phone, computer, or tablet. Guys, meditation is rooted like in thousands of years of tradition, thousands of scientific studies uh, that show its positive effects. It's no joke, guys. It does make a difference, and it it can really decrease anxiety and and stress. Uh, So why don't you hop on Headspace, join over 5 million users already getting some Headspace for free right now. You can download the free Headspace app and begin their Take 10 program, which is 10 days of guided meditation at headspace.com slash Jenna and Julian. Train your mind for a healthier, less stressed life. Start your free trial today at headspace.com slash Jenna Julian. That's headspace.com slash Jenna Julian. All right, guys, we are back with two truths and a lie. Woo-hoo! We're back uh, here on the Jenna and Julian podcast. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our sponsors. I appreciate it. Go support them. It makes the show free. Yeah, thank for you guys you. so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, so it's my turn. Jenna just miffed her last one. <laughs> But this is an interesting one. All right, you ready? Get legs. I, I think you might know this, mm-hmm. but I wanted to do it anyway because it's cool. Mm-hmm. I've been in a car chase with a cop. I've been in a foot chase with a cop. I've had a gun pointed at me by a cop. You've never been in a foot chase with Fuck, a cop. Fuck, damn it. Ever. I knew you would get that, and I somehow picked it anyway. Didn't I've you tell me? You, you told tell you all my, I think I've told even the podcast. Yeah. I've told the podcast... Either the, I think I've told you the car chase one. Yeah, like a car got stolen and no, 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 something no. like that. No, no, no. It That's so I've told both. I've told the gun and the car chase. Yeah. We we were accused of hot wiring a car, so cops snuck up on us and pointed a gun. Mm-hmm. And then the car chase, an idiot passenger in my car threw an egg at a parked ADT, and mm-hmm. they are technically armed. So I'm going to call it a cop, and they chased me until I lost them. Yeah, but you ain't never been in no foot. I've race. never been in a foot race. So well done, Jenna. Thank you. I like to think that I like, I know you or something. You do. Okay. You ready for this one? Let's do it. Are you ready? You ready? I think almond butter tastes like nasty, blood, or good. Blood. (laughs) That's the lie? Blood is the truth. Oh, fuck. Nasty and blood. So good is is a lie. (laughs) But you've specifically said that almond butter tastes like blood, which I still have no idea how you've come to that conclusion. I don't know either. It just doesn't... It tastes like blood to me. Fair enough. I'm sorry. You know, sometimes you just... You got to get your freak on. Sorry. Office <laughs> reference. Sorry. Yeah, on, no. Oh, my head. On, whoosh, on prom night, I... Oh, boy. Threw up. Danced with a lot of people, but not my date because she was embarrassed and didn't want to dance with me. Number three is going to be a lie. Broke into my own high school. Number three is a lie. Fuck! God, I can't even have a poker face. You know everything. I'm a good listener. You are a good listener. Aww. I love you. That, oh, ew! All right, enough you. sappiness. Ew! 
That's really sad, though, that you danced with a lot of people, but not your date. Oh, man, what that a lame date she was. so much. Let's go back in time and have a prom, and I'll be your prom. You crash it and just dance with me? I don't have to crap. Okay, well, yeah, I'd probably you'd crash. Probably crash. <laughs> you'd, <laughs> probably. Be, you'd be over age. Yeah, I'd be, you know, I'd be a little bit old. Mm. But, you know, yeah. it is what dink. it is. Dink to that. Dink, dink. dink. You have to do it twice, dink. please, right. at least twice. Dink, dink, dink. dink. Oh. I'll just keep doing it while you read. Dink, 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 dink. Keep reading. Okay. Dink, In, uh, okay. Dink. It's. I won't talk. I won't talk. It's. It's still too much. All right, fine. <laughs> don't switch beers. Damn please. it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here you go. All right. In Elder Scrolls Online, I am a Khajiit in the Eldamary Dominion. A God Bre- damn it. A Breton in the Daggerfall Covenant. Or a Magicka-based Dragonite. I'm going to ask you to repeat the question. In Elder Scrolls Online, I am a Khajiit in the Eldamary Dominion. A Bre- That's a lie. First a one's a lie. In First the Daggerf- one's a lie. You're right. Why? How do you know that? I just, I feel like out of the three, I've heard that the least. Fair. Fair enough. Right? But you I've know heard... that you laugh at the Khajiit, though, because they're the cats and they have those. Yes. <laughs> yes. The cat face. Yes. They have those memes. I remember them. Those memes. Those fuckers. You like them. Yeah, I do like them. You do. All right, right? Everyone does. Go ahead. Oh, I'm right. I'm I think right. you're going to get this one wrong. I once hit two home runs in one game. I got a hole in one in golf. I ran a five minute and twenty second mile. Third one's a lie. You are wrong. No. I ran a five minute and twenty second mile. Okay, I mean I believe that, but I also believe the oh, other one. Oh, give it to me. It's no, a I, fact. I oh, believe sorry. that you hit two run two home runs, and I believed that you hit. A I never hit two one. home runs in one game. I got a hole in one in golf. Legit ass fucking hole in one. I have a certificate. <sighs> I hit it off the bank, I rolled nicely into the hole. I should have. Yeah, I know. I believe that one. Um, yeah, I never hit two home runs in one game, but I ran a five minute and twenty second mile. That's dope. Middle school, I, I was ran, fucking I ran a six, into that. I shit, ran a dude. six minute mile, but I was also not feeling it because you know sometimes. we had to run the mile every single week. So I was like, I might as well just fucking be the best at this shit. And then I was the best at it, and then a bunch of really like like skinny like. Beast at runners Basket, just destroyed yeah. me, and I was like, "Why did I ever try this?" Yeah. It's hard. It it's gets hard. hard as fuck. Just when you think you're good at running, some kid just comes and fucks your day up. Fucks your day up. I hit two home runs in my high school career, not never in one game. I hit one in my college career as a lefty slapper. Fuck yeah! I know. I heard that story tonight yeah, from your dad. Five minute twenty second mile though. That's legit. I thought Truth I was that. impressed with my six minute mile. But, like, you, you do you understand what it's like to be a teenage girl in gym class? Like, girls don't even want... We don't even want don't. to change. We don't want to change. We don't want to be there. We're like, can I walk the mile? There so you're so just like girls. every other student in gym class. No. Well, yeah. There's so many girls that were literally... Well, yeah, I guess yeah. Like guys and girls. Yeah. I, I don't know why I'm limiting. No, no, no. Gender, I feel what you're saying, though. Like, but they would just be like, guys oh, we, have to, we like, have to do the, mo- the, the mile today? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to walk it and fuck you. Yeah. And I, for one one year, I was like, I'm gonna do this gonna try. as fast as possible because yeah. there was this girl named Erica that would run it in like an ungodly amount of time, like yeah. short as fuck. Yeah, but, and I was like, I'm just gonna beat Erica today. Yeah, but I couldn't beat her. No one can beat Erica. Yeah, the kid who beat me was named Jonathan. So Erica and Jonathan, okay. you win. Congrats. Yeah. Are you happy now? Yeah, but you, you know what? I'm really glad that I. Dreams? I'm so glad that I did it because it was six minutes, and then you're done, and, and you, then you and just you, sit there, like and you chill. did that, and, and no one can chill. ever take that away from you. No, I didn't even find it to be an accomplishment at the time. I was just ready to chill for the rest of the right. 38 minutes or whatever. Fair enough. <laughs> I was ready to chill. Fair enough. It's like why spend 20 minutes walking when I could just fucking bust it out real quick. Is that a mosquito? I think it's a mosquito. Uh, Julie, no, don't switch beers with me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, we did a jogathon one time mm. where you run as many laps as you can for charity or health or whatever. I don't know. And you had like <laughs> a, a thing on your back or on your chest. I think both. Like you had a, a chart. Right. Actually, it was on your back. So the teachers filled it out for you every time you ran a lap. They, you would go up to them and they would check one off and you keep running. And... So anyone could write a fucking thing on your back. So kids were walking the fucking track with 40 laps on their back. And I'm fucking huffing and puffing. And I got 30, I got 32 laps. I was so excited. I equated to eight miles. 
And it was in the span of a couple hours. And I was like, Daddy, I was so excited. I had my headphones in, and I'm like, I'm like about to pass out, and I'm walking around. I'm seeing guys on their phones or on their whatever that we had with like full, like completely filled the entire chart with like Sharpie that wasn't even being used. And no one cared. Like, it was like, it was just, no one gave a fuck. That hurts my heart yeah, so bad. Fuck Jogathon. Julian, you were such an honest kid, and you're still an honest person. Thank you. Oh. Except for when I try to switch our beers. <laughs> you really wanted to do it. Keep trying to switch our beers. All right. right. Throughout high school and college, we had variety shows and events with cool names. Which of the following is an event I never participated in? Mm. Ram Jam, Slam Jam, or Ham Jam? Ham Jam. The answer is Slam Jam. Fuck. I mean, like, what? Am I supposed to get that? There was no such thing as Slam Jam. Only... That's why you didn't participate in it? Because it wasn't a thing? Ham Jam and Ram Jam. You know what? Ram Jam in no, college. What was Ram Jam? We were at the Suffolk Rams. Ram Jam was like a, a oh, fundraiser for that basketball. Was your mascot. And then Ham Jam was our talent or variety show in high school. It was lit as fuck. God damn it. I'm sorry. That's okay. The best part about Ham Jam was you were allowed to write trivia questions about any other student in the school. That's good. And then they would read them on stage, like, live, and Mm. it was hysterical. Obviously, they, like, pre-screened them. Got it. But one of my favorites ever was, uh, like, you were allowed to just run up and yell the answer into the microphone if you knew it. There were, like, 1,400 kids that went to my school. One of my favorite trivia questions was, like, uh, which student got pulled over for three DUIs without ever being drunk once? And someone was like, oh, so-and-so. So, but like, yeah, she really was that oh bad of a driver. Yeah, that, was, that question was lit. Jesus. But it was stuff you? like that. It was hysterical. Yeah. Damn. Nothing bad. Nothing like awful. Just yeah. all funny. Yeah. Sounds very high schooly. Yeah. It was amazing. It's cool. Anyway, that was ham jam. Um, Go ahead. All right. David Hasselhoff went to my high school. Charlie Sheen went to my high school. Zach Efron in 17 again went to my high school. David Hasselhoff did not go to your high school. Fuck! He is getting the, killed in the here, man. King of Germany. Oh, fuck. Good try. Thanks. Good try. Thanks. That is cool, though. It's it must be cool to go to a high school in Southern California. We're, must be cool to win this game. Must be cool to go to Ham Jam. So, at least we had a Ham Jam. We didn't have Charlie Sheen, but we had Ham Jam. I didn't have Charlie Fuck Sheen. Me. He was there like years and years before I was ever there. <laughs> I never had him. He was yours. He I was did your see child. Zac Efron on campus a couple times because they were cool. filming 17 again during like school. For some reason, they decided not to shoot it in summer. They shot it during school, a lot of it, which is weird. I think they like illegitimately used us as extras, honestly. Are you in all I might rooms? fucking You're be. You're in 17 Might again. be. And by the way, when he rolls up in his fucking Audi R8, and that's, you can't drive there. There's like pylons <laughs> like way back there that you would never have gotten past. It's uh, fake. Movies are fake, am I right? <laughs> okay. Mm. Books that I think are amazing. A Tale of Two Cities. The book with no pictures. All quiet on the Western Front. Tale of Two, oh wait, sorry. A Tale of Two Cities is a lie. True. You're so right. You I know that so shit. Right. I know that shit. Come on. You're so right. I mean, I'm sure it's amazing. I just, you know, I wanted to slam my face on something the entire time I was reading it. Anyways. I tried to grab Rim playing basketball one time, and I dislocated my shoulder following down. I learned to switch hit after my forearm prevented me from swinging a bat right-handed for three and a half months. I made the flag football all-stars in middle school, but never got playing time. Second one's false. Why did I learn to switch hit? Because you wanted to, and you're Fuck! Good at it. You're like you. You haven't missed like one in like three or four turns. <laughs> well, don't jinx it. I want to. Nobody just. I'm unknocking your wood. <laughs> no one just like learns to switch hit because they have an injury in their forearm. Not true. Your forearm would equally affect your left hand. Not swing. true. If you're a right handed right, and your your lead forearm is injured. This pulling motion is going to fuck you up. But as a lefty, it, it, you're not using that part of your forearm. You're using this part and your, your bicep. Well, you didn't say to, what kind of forearm injury it was. If it hurt but I'm bad just saying, enough. I'm just saying. If it hurt that's bad a specific, enough. A form of you injury is a bat. specific lead hand injury. In golf, in tennis, in baseball, whatever it is. If you're leading with that forearm, hey, you cannot. The, Julian, you're preaching to the choir, which is exactly why I got it right. Fair enough. 
<laughs> Fuck with me. Fuck with me. You want another question? Mm. Um, <laughs> Don't worry <have> me. <laughs> My mom used to put a screaming doormat out at Halloween, make, <laughs> make jello every Tuesday night, Write letters on the napkins in my lunchbox. Make Jello every fucking Tuesday. Who makes Jello every week? Yeah, yeah you're right. Debbie yeah. Machine does you're not. Right. She knows better than that. She knows better than that. I know the Debbie Machine. But she really did. She would put out a screaming doormat. See that? I can see her doing. I can see her doing that she, even on not on Halloween. Yeah, she loves giving out candy to trick-or-treaters. And she thought it was like the funniest practical joke ever. Because the kids would step on the doormat and would go, Wah! like really quietly. And she'd be like, did it scare you? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The Debbie machine. All right. The first time I ever gambled, I lost eighty dollars and was accused by the casino of cheating. I played poker with my dad and brother growing up a lot. I gambled my money sorry. I gambled money I found out of my dad's wallet one time and he never found out. First one's a lie. No, it's not. Shit. That is true. You got accused of cheating. I was $80. eighteen. I was eighteen years old. Me and my buddies had all just turned eighteen, and we were like, "When we're eighteen, we're gonna fucking go gamble." Because you can. Because we can yeah. at Morongo, like not at <laughs> not at most places, <laughs> but Morongo. So we were out near Palm Springs. So we went to Morongo, and I didn't realize <laughs> that when you're playing uh, blackjack, you can't bet like in between. Like so, basically, y- you get your hand right, mm-hmm. and like say, so say I get a face down card and a jack, right? And I bet one bet, right? Everyone bets. And then you flip your other card, you see. I thought after you flipped a second card, you can place another bet. So I've I, like for three hands, I was putting in extra chips after I saw my second card, which is totally fucking cheating. Like you're not supposed yeah, you're to bet. You're 18. How are you supposed to know that? You, you walk into a casino, you're supposed to know the rules. And so I, I still kept, don't bet, know the rules. It's the equivalent. Casinos. It's the equivalent of going to the books in Vegas yeah. after a game has ended and saying, Hey, I think this is going to be the score. Cause I was literally betting after I saw my whole hand. Yeah. So after like three or four hands of doing that, some guy comes up in a suit. And taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm playing poker here. I, I'm just having fun. <laughs> I'll play blackjack. And uh, it turns out, like he, he like, he warned me. He told me the rules. And then the, the dealer actually told me the rules and was like, you can't do that. Like, we're going to kick you out. And I was like, I'm really, really sorry. I'm shitting the bed anyway. Everyone's taking my money. Like, I'm sorry. I mean... I promise you that you cannot be the first person that that's happened to. Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty you amateur hour mistake. You've been to Vegas with me and will literally go to something, because all I do is play a slot machine yeah. from time to yeah. time. Because I'm too embarrassed to go be like, oh, hey, what's it's the intense. rules? It's intense. Right? Yeah, we, we played we roulette, roulette, roulette one time, that one time. And we had to ask him all the rules. And we had to ask the guy standing next to us. Yeah, they had had it with us, but fuck it. Anyway. Well, how, I see, how, how like, you're supposed to just know when you turn 18? I don't know. I guess you're supposed to educate yourself before you were, put yourself yeah. in that environment. At least, but whatever. at least they were nice to you, though. Yeah. You're yeah. clearly an 18 year old. Fuck it. All right. I have seen every episode of Seinfeld, Sex in the City, I Love Lucy. Every episode? Definitely seen every episode of Seinfeld. Sex in the City's a lie. I love Lucy is a lie. Fuck. Believe it or not. Oh my god. I think I've seen like ninety nine percent of the episodes, but I can't be certain that I've seen every episode. So you're saying there's a chance that you have seen a hundred percent of the episodes. Like there is a slight chance. Yeah. Well fuck. But it's not like I sat down and watched them all with intention in a row. Hmm. 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 In college, I befriended the maintenance guy on campus. Won an MMA giveaway with, at the time, UFC superstar Phil Davis for an art contest, and I ran to the library during my fitness center job shift to check to see if I won, and hung out with my roommates all the time. I know that number two is true, at least the first half of it. I do not know if you ran from your shift at the library to go fucking check it or whatever, I know that the third one is likely false. Well, is that your answer? That is my answer. Fuck! 
<laughs> You're destroying I know. I know me. the second one is true because you had made a video on your old school YouTube channel. No one. No, I, don't look for it. Don't look. Is for it still it. on the internet? It's, it's somewhere. It was adorable, it and you won socks, right? And something. Yeah. Else? So I was obsessed with Phil Davis. He was like my favorite fighter, and he held this contest where he he said all of his Twitter followers could send in. Like he gave his PO box address, and you can write your own Valentine's card with a picture on it to Phil Davis. Like he's your Valentine, but whoever had the best picture would win the ultimate prize. And there was three prizes: third place, second place, first place. And I won first place. And I remember, I remember he tweeted out that he had put the video up. So I left my job. I was like, "Hey, buddy, cover for me or whatever." My coworker and I ran to the library because I didn't have a computer. I was like. Did I win? And I watched it, and I won. I was, like, freaking out. That's yeah, so, so cool. He sent me, like, his sponsor gear. You know? That was so cool. Pretty funny. I know. I saw that video, and you were really excited. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Wild, man. When I was a teenager, I wanted to get my tongue pierced. The piercer said I couldn't do it because your tongue died. It would damage your teeth from knocking the ball against them. That thing in the middle is too long. Wait, so your tongue died. What was the second one? It would damage your teeth from knocking the ball against And then the third one? The thing in the middle is too long. That one. That's a... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Your tongue died? So I'm supposed to believe some guy said your tongue died? That's a lie. That's false. The The piercer literally looked at my tongue and said... Ah, uh, can't do it. Your tongue died. And I was like, what does that mean? And the thing in the middle, like, if you lift up your tongue, that, like, piece of skin mm-hmm. that connects your yeah. tongue to the bottom of your mouth, they were like, it's too long. I can't pierce through it. That's what she was saying by your tongue died. I can't pierce it because your tongue died. That sounds like a trick question. Yeah, she told, me, she told me she could only give me one on both sides. Like two tongue piercings on either side Thank of my God, tongue. You should have and done I was that. like, mm, I'm good. No, girl. I'm, no, I'm girl. I'm good. Girl, girl. I really, it was like a half hearted want, desire to get my tongue pierced, anyways. And now you just really talked to me. <laughs> it was all the rage back in the day. I Sounds like all you. the rage. Sounds like all the rage. <laughs> Shut up. Like, I have a bunch of, about piercings on here. So keep going. Um, how many more do you have? A few. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I once ran away from home for a night because I got in a fight with my brother and my mom. I went to school drunk one time, and I spent most of fifth period during my senior year in the basketball gym practicing trick shots. You know, I'm going to say, against my better judgment, I'm going to say the third one is a lie because... That's so not specific. Although the second one's not specific either. Can you tell me what the second one was again? Second one was, I went to school drunk one time. Like high school, high school college? High school, high school. Like, I don't think that's true at all. But I also don't think that you spent fifth period. Like, that's so outrageously, like, not clear. Fifth period every I day spent, of every I year? Spent, no, I spent... That's the, crazy. I spent the most of fifth period senior year. Oh, senior year. Yeah, that's what I said. Practicing trick shots. In the basketball gym. God, I really don't want to get it wrong, but I feel like two and three are both false. I'm going to say three. You think three is false? You think I didn't practice trick shots? No, I don't. Well, I did. You are wrong. Was it drunk? I had never went to school drunk. Yeah, I knew it. I technically had yoga because we had, we had like a free fifth period for the second semester of senior year. And a lot of times we just didn't go. <laughs> so we went to the basketball gym and Fair practiced enough. half court shots because that enough. is what matters. Oh, you should have said half court half shots. Court, no, half court was you just, said no, no, no. Half shots. court was just part of it. We went behind the, like up into the bleachers and bounced it off the wall to try to make it in. Like okay. these were yeah. like we, when I say half court shots, I meant that we did so many half court shots that we could nail them regularly. Mm-hmm. Like that's how many times we, pre- and then like when we were done with that, we did things where we would throw it to each other, like from one side of the stands to the other mm-hmm. and then alley oop it to the guy on the court. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, like, no, like, like, 
lit. All right. I other got, mic all right, lit. I got one wrong. <laughs> other mic. Other mic lit. <laughs> other mic lit. Do it again. Other mic lit. Other mic lit. Stop switching beers. Look what you did. You made it all foamy. Glut- you nasty. It's gluttony. All right, Julian. Care about it. When I got my conch pierced, which is the piercing that's through my entire cartilage on my right ear. Oof. Right? I hate that word. Conch? <laughs> like the shell. No, but like Conch, when you say I got my conch pierced. Okay. Okay. Don't make it nasty. Girl, me. Make it nasty. Okay. Make what it is nasty. <laughs> Fuck this, pussy boy. Fuck it. It's a tiger reference. Okay. It's not me. Um, when I got my conch pierced, the piercer said, You're technically too young for this type of piercing. Are you sure you're not on any drugs or alcohol? Would you like to eat it? A is a lie. The second two are true. You are right. I know I am. The third one, when he said, would you like to eat it? Which apparently I've learned is not uncommon. They pierce it with a hollow needle. And so he like taps out the part of your ear Mm -hmm. that he pierced. And then he looked at me and goes, you want to eat it? And I was like, no. (laughs) <laughs> no, please, no. But yeah, you already know. Any Anytime I got anything pierced, they were like, are you sure you're not any, on any drugs or alcohol? Because my pupils are always so ridiculously dilated mm. ever since I was a kid. And mm. I got this pierced when I was like 15 or 16. I think. knew that shit. I know you did. Go ahead. How many more do you have? A few. I don't know. Keep going. Well, I, only I have, have one, what? two, three, four, five. I have five. Shit, you go. Because I only have one. Okay. I have been to Costa Rica, Prague, St. Kitts. Where is St. Kitts? I'm not going to answer that. Prague is a lie. I have never been to Prague. Yeah. you right. you right. Fuck yeah. I'm dapsing you. Yeah. All right. You have one left? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Nah, no, no, it's like whatever. Good boy. Thank you. I am terrified of tarantulas, underwater caves, and after an afterlife scenario in which you are judged for all of your choices. Underwater caves. That is totally wrong. I'm. Wait, wait. So I'm. A, fuck. I was picking the truth. I'm terrified of. You. So I'm picking the the lie. Truth. Why, why do I keep forgetting how this game works? Pick the lie. I'm terrified. Of You're truth. not terrified. You're not terrified of being judged. That's the one. That's a lie. You're still wrong. Tarantulas. That is the lie. I'm not terrified of tarantulas. Are you scared of tarantulas? No. All right. Want to know why? No, why? In, like, first grade, we had this kid named Jonathan that had, like, exotic pets like that, and he brought a tarantula in. We all sat with our legs like this in a big triangle, you know, when you put your feet Mm -hmm. with other feet, but you're, like, in a straddle. And then he let his girl tarantula run around and, like, touch us Why was that a necessary... What do you mean? Detail. That it was a girl tarantula. <laughs> because I think that's those are the ones that you're allowed to have as pets. Oh, okay. Sorry. It just sounded and random. she was lovely, and I also identified. I was like, oh, she's a girl. She's furry. I get it. She and must she was be sweet. nice. She's just a little lady. Right. I know? feel like I need to meet a tarantula to feel that way, so you're lucky. They're really kind of wonderful, as long as you're not, like, jerking all around and being, you know, mm-hmm. mean to a spider. I won't be mean to They're a spider. They're kind of nice. I can promise you that. But a tarantula in the wild, I mean, you, you got to look out for yourself. Okay. <laughs> Don't try and befriend a wild tarantula. Yeah, I might tarantula. try. might try. Okay. I have passed out during an animated video in health class about drugs, a mole removal, a dentist appointment. Dentist appointment. Whoa, dentist appointment is true. Fuck. Mole removal? I'd say A. A is a lie. Mm. A dentist appointment is a lie. You never passed out? I've never passed out from a dentist, but I'm not scared of the dentist. That's right. They don't really use needles. I passed out during an animated video in health class about drugs. Why? I don't know. They were talking about heroin, and it just got real real, and I was in fourth grade. It got real real. I was sitting at my desk, and all of a sudden, just, like, fell over sideways. Oh, my God. (laughs) I had to, like, go into the principal's office. They were like, are you eating? Are your parents feeding you? I'm like, yeah, no, really. It was just that cartoon. It was graphic. The guy was sweating. It was... Damn. Whatever. Okay. I begged my mom to be able to shave my legs, 
Buy me a $300 prom dress. Let me have sugar gliders. Which one's a lie? A. Be able to shave my legs? No, it's buy me a $300 prom dress. My prom dress was... Why did you have to beg her? $75. Why can't you just shave your own legs? Because she wouldn't let me. It's like a thing. Maybe it is. I don't know. I thought that was it. All right, I got one left, so you do yours. Fuck, man. I'm, like, sucking. All right. The legs out. Last one. Um, Last right. one out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Mm, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. I've never broken a bone. I had to wear a retainer from a freak accident. Yeah, I see you making that face. I accidentally like set my earlier. friend's dad's grill on fire briefly. At a barbecue in high school. I'm trying to think. Because I know you haven't broken a lot of bones. So I don't know what you're qualifying as. I've never broken a bone. <laughs> don't slow blink at me. <laughs> you just blinked. All right. You know, I'm going to say that the first one is a lie. That you've never broken a bone. What bone have I broken? I don't know. None. That's okay, why. Okay, so the third one's a lie. Julian, just come out with it. Yes. Come on. I never set a barbecue on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I wear. I had to wear a retainer mm -hmm. from a freak accident. Mm -hmm. So the, freak, I wanted to allude that, to that earlier part of this Julian. podcast where you were like, I know you don't no, wear I a retainer. No, I know. I got the reference. you never had braces. I got the reference, okay. which is why I didn't think it was a lie. Oh, but, you knew what I was talking about? But was it a freak gasoline fight accident? Orange mocha frappuccino. <laughs> We still haven't seen that fucking movie, by the way. Zoolander 2. Yeah. Why haven't we done that? Yeah. You said you would see it in theaters with me, and you never did. Well, you know what? I got busy and then forgot that it was doing that in the theater. So. All right. Well, my birthday's next week, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even in theaters anymore. Um, I'll recreate a theater. <laughs> yeah, just, just re I want you to read the script of the whole movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. Yeah. In your worst Australian ASMR. accent. ASMR Australian. <laughs> oh my god. ASMR. Australian SMR. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright, finish it strong. Last one. I will bite Kermit back, marbles back, acrylic nails. Which one's a lie? Marbles. Oh, you're so right. I'll never bite marbles back. Well, I mean, just to clarify, when Kermit bites me, I'll just be like, nya, nya, nya. I'll pretend it's to not bite. a literal bite. Literal so he'll bite. like, if she's ever like picking at him or whatever, messing with him, and if he's like had it, he'll just be like, nya, nya, nya. and Jenna will do it back. She'll be like, nya, nya, nya. like just <laughs> like without touching, but never to marbles. Never. No. Never. That child could just, because marble will really He can bite do no me. wrong in your eyes. If he's like scared enough, he will try yeah. and bite. If but I'm he, clipping his nails, he will bite you me. You love Kermit and marbles equally, and you love them in different ways, but marbles They're holds them ways. in this, like, he holds you, your heart in a very different place than Kermit does. He's my first dog. He's, he's my little ride or die. Yeah. Yep. I love marbles. He's a good, he's my good dog. Have you ever tried to cut that child's nails? Yes, he and will, I've succeeded at it before. He will fucking bite you. I'm like the you. nail dog whisperer. He will fucking bite you. NDW. <laughs> Have you ever seen the vets roll him up in a burrito in a blanket? Yes, yes. It makes me want to cry, and I kind of want to leave the room. Because he's like a psych patient. <laughs> the poor thing. Poor guy. I know. My boo. He doesn't know that they're just trying to cut his nails. But. No, he doesn't. Well, ignorance is bliss, I guess. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this long uh, drinking game podcast. I had we, fun. We did. Fun. Yeah, this was cool. Yeah. This was cool. Uh, give us your feedback on the whole thing. Like, I want a, an itemized uh, essay, please, in the <laughs> comments. It's due by Thursday. Rough draft by Wednesday. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, seriously, let us know what you guys thought. Obviously, we changed a couple things up with the sponsors this week, so keep us posted on how you like that. Uh, we'll obviously read the comments and hear what you guys have to say. Hopefully you, you enjoyed hearing us play this goofy game and have a couple drinks on this podcast. It was fun. I had fun. I had fun. Anyway, uh, guys, sponsors in the description, please check them out. We, uh, we always make sure that we have awesome sponsors for you guys to check out. Not boring stuff. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, makes the show free for you guys. So we appreciate it. And, uh, 
We hope you guys have a wonderful week. Go yeah. make some go make some memories out there, you know? Go make some memories. Go make some memories that you can return back to the podcast fam and talk about. <laughs> uh, we'll see go you guys. Go out there and rearrange <laughs> some letters on a marquee. You know what? If you're given a little bit of power, just fucking abuse it, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta just do that. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week for another podcast. Horrible life advice by Julian. <laughs> we appreciate you guys so much. Bye, uh, Dink Fan. Bye, Dink Fan. Later.